Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you the power of options, how options can make you rich real, real fast if you're doing the right plays. Now, I'm going to show you a few examples here with Neil. I'm going to show you both sides of the trade of the play. Now, me as the seller of the option, because on this trade, I was actually the seller. I did a video on this, you know, on my last two videos talking about Neil. I missed out on some extra gains on it. But today we're talking about the power of options and we're going to use buy a call option as an example. So because when you buy a call option, you're basically bullish. You think the price of the stock is going to go up. And when you buy a call option, it gives you the right, but not the obligation to buy some shares at a specific price that you pick, which is the strike price. And it's gotta be between a certain amount of time, which is the expiration date. Now on this screen that you see right now, this is actually the order that I sent in on August 25th. I am the seller of the option. And on the other side of this trade, there's a buyer. So let me show you my side of the trade first. I had, well, I have 400 shares of NEO. And I gave somebody else the right to buy them from me at a specific price between a certain amount of time. And I sent that order in, you can see here, August 25th at 8.56 a.m. I sold four contracts. Each contract represents 100 shares of the stock. So for those four contracts, I got paid from the buyer $204 that was immediately credited into my account. So this is how much money I am making, $204 plus any little capital gains for selling them off at a, you know, a, quite a little bit more higher than I bought them for. And I'm going to show you how much I bought them for. I bought the shares at $15.82. I bought 400 shares. So you can see the total return here, it's really not much, you know, what I'm going to get off of that because I'm missing out on a lot of gains. If you watch my video that I did yesterday, you're going to see how much money I'm actually going to make on this trade. Now, for those contracts, remember, he paid me $51 for each contract. So his total investment is $204 but he needs the price of neo to move up and what did neo do of course it went up and so now let me show you the side of his trade and those same contracts that he bought you know like if you were to buy them right now they'd be a lot more expensive but he bought them at 51 dollars each so let's go on his side of the trade now he's ready to sell, sell those contracts off because he does not want to exercise the option. Now, in my opinion, most traders simply trade the option, meaning, meaning they uh, sell it right back. You know, if you're buying a call option, you just sell the contract back for more profit and that's it. So he would have to sell those contracts because he bought them. Sell a call, that same $16 uh, strike price right there. You see the negative four? Those are the ones I sold. But him as a buyer, he can go in the market right now. Right now, Neil's trending at $19.50. If he were to choose to sell them off right now, he would get $1,200 and something dollars. You know, it's gonna fluctuate. The market is open right now. So he look at his return. It's a, like a thousand dollar return on that investment. On a $204 investment, he can simply trade the option, meaning sell them off, sell those contracts back before they expire. Unless he wants to go for exercise, of course, then he can technically buy 400 shares of NEO at $16 per share, even though NEO is trading right now a little over $19 per share. However, you know, most traders, again, in my opinion, they simply just trade the option. They don't go for exercise. So, on his $204 investment, he can easily make $1,000, a little over $1,000. Now imagine 
if it would have been a thousand dollar investment or so, what, what would that be like? Around 20 contracts. You see the potential on options. Now on the, that side of the trade, a thousand dollars would have been a great investment. You would have turned it into a little over six thousand dollars in two days. That is the power of options. Now again, this is his side of the trade as a buyer. This is how much money he would have made if he would have bought, let's say, a thousand dollars worth of contracts at fifty-one dollars each. Now on my side of the trade, wait, 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 let me finish on his side of the trade first. So that's if the price of the stock would have gone up. You know, he basically right now it did. So he made some pretty good profits. However, on his side, if the trade would have gone against him, like let's say Neil would have gone just straight down, that's how fast he can also lose his money. Now the most he can lose was the $204 that he paid me. However, he can lose them real fast. So he needed the price of the stock to move in his favor. Now on my end, whether the stock moves up or goes down, I still make that premium if I let the options expire. So I make money either way or if it stays sideways. Now my gains are not as much. You know, I'm using the shares that I had as collateral. Him as a buyer, he's paying just a little bit of premium, which was the $204 that he paid me to be able to control 100, 100 shares per contract of the stock. So he was controlling 400 shares of the stock and had the right but not the obligation to buy them from me if he chose to. But in this case, just simply trading the option would be very, very profitable. Now, on his uh, again, on his $204 investment, which was four contracts, if he were to sell them off right now, and this right now it's actually August 27th, 2020, 9.16 a.m., would have been like a $1,000 return on that just in two days. So again, I wanted to make this video, guys, if you guys are new to options, this is the power of options as to how much money you can make real, real fast compared to buying stock. Again, this is just my opinion. Strategies that I like to use, once in a while I will be the buyer, for, but for the most part, I'm always the seller. Now again, uh, you gotta watch You know what has a greater risk than the other trade, but uh, it's all up to you how you think. In my opinion, I've always said it, you know, I'm okay with being the seller. I like collecting premium. That's just the strategy that I like to do. Now, again, guys, thank you so much for your support. Once again, I'm sorry to bother you guys with Neo videos. I promise next time I will do a video on a different stock. Okay?